You know, sometimes timing is everything, and this burst of snow is coming through just in time for the morning commute. Got to love that, right? Where well, you see some of the darker blues on the map, those are some pretty decent snowfall rates. And because it's so cold, it's not taken much for the snow to overcome the roadways. And so it's going to be pretty slick out there in many cases this morning. There's a view right now from Community Banks of Monument. It was snowing a little earlier up on the higher terrain, so it's had a little more time to overcome the roads. They're all completely whitened, as seen there. And the wind's blowing the snow around, and the travel up to Denver is not so great. And Teller County, again, this isn't a ton of snow. It's uh, maybe been a couple of inches of fluff, but a couple of inches of fluff on the roads and covering them entirely. And underneath anything that was water probably turned over to ice. So that's the view right now from the Century Casino in Cripple Creek. It looks similar in Woodland Park. And now we're starting to see more indications around Colorado Springs that the roads are starting to cool enough. The snow is beginning to gather even on the interstate that I think our road conditions in the springs are about to go downhill if we keep these snowfall rates up for even just a little bit longer. There's A Street, for example, right out here in front of the KRDO studios, and it's starting to whiten up pretty well, courtesy of our Steve's paint supply camera. So just uh, expect kind of downgraded conditions here over the next hour or so through Colorado Springs. Teens and 20s very commonly found in eastern Colorado and up across the mountains and mountain valleys. Plenty of winter driving conditions over the high country this morning as it's been snowing and blowing around up there for much of the night. The band this morning that's currently causing us some grief will kind of move off towards the south, fall apart a little bit. We may have some intermittent pulses of snow, bursts of snow, call them what you will, through the rest of the morning. But I think once this main band goes through over the next couple of hours, things will start to wind down a little bit. and We'll just have some intermittent snow showers and flurries with some gradual decreasing cloud cover as we head into the late afternoon hours. That's not going to save our temperatures today, regardless of whether or not we clear out. We're only looking for highs to reach the 20s and 30s in most of eastern Colorado with some teens if you get up high enough into the mountains. And then tonight, as the sky continues to clear, the wind lets up, and of course, we'll have a little snow on the ground. We're setting the stage for a pretty chilly night. When you wake up tomorrow morning, single digits and teens will be commonly found in eastern Colorado, and we'll have temperatures below zero up across the high country over the big mountain valleys. Looking for highs tomorrow to bounce back to about 40 in Colorado Springs. We'll hit the 50s Thursday and Friday, but it looks to get quite windy in advance of another cold front that should knock our temperatures back on Saturday. That system probably brings some snow to the high country. Right now, it doesn't appear likely we'll get snow out of it here locally. Teller County might get back into the 40s as quickly as tomorrow afternoon after a real chilly start, by the way, but then warmer on Thursday and Friday. But again, windy, and that wind always takes away from the overall feel of the day. Again, slick travel up across the Monument Hill area into Denver this morning. Tomorrow we get upper 30s. We're in the upper 40s Thursday and Friday. If you don't blow away, great. It might actually be nice for a little while, but I do think that Friday is going to be a real windy day. Could push us into the 60s in Pueblo. Again, we have some snow in Pueblo this morning. I don't think it's going to have as much luck sticking for you in Pueblo. Or maybe in Canyon City, we could get a little bit of whitening on the roadways under these heavier bursts. And maybe be careful with Highway 115. But all that will melt off starting tomorrow as we get into the 40s and then eventually into the 50s by the end of the week. Josh and Riley, back to you. Marty, thank you. Let's take a look at your commute now. This is I-25 and Tejon. All right, folks, you're going to want to slow down. As Marty mentioned, we're starting to get more snow on the roads, especially here in the Colorado Springs area, starting to see some slowing in both directions on I-25 south of Fountain between Pueblo West and Fountain, which we weren't seeing earlier in the day. It was mostly focused on those northern parts, but that snow is starting to migrate south. So just take it real slow today. Give yourself a lot of distance. As Marty mentioned, that snow is light and fluffy, so it's blowing up. It's really going to impact your visibility. We want you to be safe out there. Be careful.